Hello wine lovers, Trophy Wine Hander. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a really fun video because I'm doing kind of a video where I'm going to compare and contrast two great wines. On this side, we have the number one wine by, rated by Wine Spectator in 2022. This is the Double Diamond 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon. So if you have watched my YouTube channel, I was fortunate enough to drink the 2018 vintage and I have reviewed that. I will put that review at the end of this video. Love the wine. I'm so happy for this winery. Uh, well deserved that they've got these accolades. But I thought it'd be interesting to taste against another great wine. And this is the Podricelli um, 2019 Block 007 Estate Cabernet Sauvignon. I thought it would just be neat to kind of taste them. So why I chose these two wines together is they are both 2019. They're both Cabernet Sauvignon um, and they're kind of both lower level, like not um, hillside um, wineries. So one is in Sonoma County, one is in Oakville. And so I thought it'd be just interesting to compare and contrast. I was fortunate enough to drink these at lunch with uh, steaks and so I got to be able to taste them with a number of my friends and um, it was a really interesting thing and again these are both very good quality wines so let's start with the Padroncelli I guess the other contrast here is this is aged in American oak whereas Double Diamond is aged in French oak so again from Dry Creek Valley in the Sonoma County and um, it is Cabernet Sauvignon. The Patricelli is a great producer um, and it has an 88 point wine spectator rating. So on the nose, what you feel right away with this wine, I feel that there is a lot of um, oak on this and you can smell a little bit of the alcohol. But now this is, I drank this in the afternoon and now this is nighttime and that has really dissipated a lot. The tannins, the, the alcohol has really dissipated. And now you get more classic uh, berry aromas of the um, Cabernet Sauvignon grape. Cassis, that's what I'm getting now. Um, but not really strong intensity. I, it's a lot of fruit um, and a lot of uh oak that's kind of what i'm getting and a little bit touch of alcohol so first of all first impression is beautiful wine um so lots of fruit up for for uh, up front i think pretty good balance uh tannin level is mild it's of course it's um, quite um, strong for 2019 but not out of balance fruit is good you do kind of taste the alcohol and I feel that you get a little bit of um, on the aftertaste you get a little hint of um, a burnt toast kind of taste but um, I don't think the oak uh, element is uh, fragrant and so to me that's the difference between American oak and French oak. American oak is not as fragrant as I find as um, as French oak. French oak to me is much more perfumed and American oak is a little bit more like what you would um, kind of the carpentry type oak, uh, wood kind of smell to it. But really nice wine. Um, it, I think Wine Spectator gave it 88 points. I actually would give it 89 points. It actually drinks really nicely, this wine. It's a 2019, but it's well balanced. I really enjoy this wine. It went great with the steak. Um, quality, uh, nap, uh, quality California wine, I think. Mm. So in it itself, this wine is um, really good. It's a little heavy for my taste preference, but I think those people that like uh, American cabs, like big, bold American cabs with a steak, they love this wine. So 
well-made wine really like it. Let's go to the double diamond. Again, the big difference here, it comes from Oakville and it comes, the grapes, 70% come from Tokalon Vineyard. And I've done many videos on the Tokalon Vineyard and um, the kind of uh, all the wineries from there. Um, one thing you can see, and I'll show this, I guess, on the close-ups, is there's a really distinct difference in the color. This is much darker. The, to the double diamond is much it's almost like a purplish um, tinge, quite a sharp contrast to the Pedroncelli. Um, so just from a physical perspective, I think this is a, a little more attractive wine because it looks so opulent, the color and thick. Yeah, so the smell is totally different. And again, not to put down this wine, but Petrocelli by itself would be a great wine, but once you kind of smell Double Diamond, there's a quite a distinct difference. This is really intense. The berry flavors are really vibrant and intense, and this is Tokalon. To me, this is Tokalon. Um, really opulent, really full, really intense, really um, aromatic to me. It's just all out there. It's just, um, it almost reminds me of um, Camus in terms of the smell, but even more refined, a really elegant Camus. That's kind of how I would uh, define this. When I drank it this, uh, this afternoon, you can tell the French oak on this because again, it's a very aromatic, um, perfumey oak. To me and it's a softer oak uh, taste but um, I'm really happy to do this tasting because it was a really good in in many ways Sonoma and Oakville uh, American oak and French oak so so this really explodes with flavor again amazing for 2019 that it's this balanced. There's tannins, but the fruit is so balanced that you don't feel it. So Petrocelli is 14.5% alcohol. Double Diamond is 15.5% alcohol. Crazy amount of alcohol, but you don't feel it at all. It's so pleasing. It's so in balance. The fruit is so heavy and it's opulent. Um, honestly, you don't feel it at all. Um, you don't feel that this is a heavy wine. It's really light in the mouth. Uh, and I think that's why it got the Wine Spectator uh, number one wine of the year. Um, it's a great wine. And I agree with their um, tasting. In fact, I, I, I don't even know what... I haven't rewatched my 2018. I don't know what rating I gave that. But I'd say this is... From my recollection, it's just as good. I know that Wine Spectator rated 2018 91 and this one 94. To me, they're quite similar. Um, both vintages are great. They both drink great. Um, I don't know. It's a toss-up which one is better. I'd say this is 93, 94 points. No problem. Um, the only thing I'll say about this wine is I don't think the tannin structure is as heavy as I've seen with things that came as special selection. So I really think it's drinking well now and it'll drink well for about five years to eight years. I don't think you really need to wait on this wine. I don't think it's a 20 year wine and I don't think it's meant to be that type of wine. I think it's supposed to enjoy right away. I think it's Young Vine um, Tokalon. So it's supposed to drink uh, a little bit lighter. Um, wow, this is a magnificent wine um, that really expresses um, Napa Cab very well in my books. Like, you, you, if you've never drank wine and you kind of have trouble smelling wines, there's no uh, difficulty smelling this wine. There's lots of aroma on this wine. It's useful to compare wines, not to say what one is better or the other, but to understand the wines and to understand the quality of wine. So both of these are great quality wines, but I can understand the ratings and I can understand why this was chosen the number one wine of the year. But um, 
Yeah, it's a it's a great wine. So again, uh, from my perspective, 94, 93, 94 points, I would say, for this wine. Drinking beautifully and just the um, aromatics, the difference is quite dramatic, I would say. Um, and I think this would be a useful exercise for those that can get these two bottles. Uh, for me, it was really useful because um, it, the contrast was really good uh, and very clear. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this tasting and until next time, happy drinking. So I'm going to try in different different angles, but on the right is the uh, double diamond and the left is the Petrocelli. And uh, I hope you can kind of see the difference. I think there is a pretty distinct difference in terms of the color of the wines. So this is the double diamond label, beautiful label. It's designed by Thomas River Brown's wife. And congratulations to um, Schrader for their um, success and their number one rating. And this is Petrocelli, which is no slouch at all either. This is a single vineyard um, block number 7007 Estate. Beautiful bottle to my view and beautiful wine. So um, again, the styles are different and I'm not trying to um, disrespect Petrocelli. It's a great wine but you're up against the number one wine of the year. And um, I can tell the difference. And again, this has been a very useful tasting for me.